Greetings, Commanders! This is the Full Metal Season 7 Commander Card video. The story of Full Metal really started when they buffed him a couple weeks ago, or man, a couple months ago. Uh, basically, they made his 60% skill now just take away your opponent's buffs, which... <laughs> Usually not what we like in our game. We like guaranteed hits. We like stat ignoring spills. We like going immune. But this takes away your opponent's ability to go immune. And that's what's most important here about Full Metal. He doesn't shine great against many other commanders except F3. Eh, Rogers mostly, Reinhardt, and Elf. But he does something so interesting with Rogers, a, a major problem for Season 5 and Season 6, that boss Rogers build. Uh, it's so interesting that uh, Full Metal is now making his way on to the grand stage for walkers. It's really uh, Elf for defense for walkers, Pictor for offense for walkers, and then Full Metal for utility to take down pesky Rogers builds. So that's what today's video is about. I want to say thanks to Deranged for getting me this high-level Tier 12 uh, one-third full metal video, because I think it's actually less. Full metal could probably do it with a quarter, but for now we're calling it uh, one-third or pint-sized full metal. <clears throat> and what he can do is get into a fair fight with the Rogers, except he can be a third smaller, and he can actually keep debuffing Rogers. Now imagine Rogers without defensive stance, crappy tank gear, and really no stat-ignoring skills. So what you end up having is a, is a big old commander that's just a big turtle that can't fight back. Uh, if you stick a Virgo or an Ares on him, Rogers is even less useful. So you don't have to worry about Rogers one-shotting you. But look at look at the damage here. He's only killing 10 per shot. So the Tier 12 walkers on the left versus the Tier 12 airships on the right. There's a third less troops on the left. Um, and what we're really interested in is that Terra Space damage and then uh, Full Metal just removing that defensive stance every time it triggers. So let's watch the replay. Okay, there's a Virgo, so there goes Roger's damage, so he's not going to be hitting very hard. Here comes the Terra Space. Boom, only five there. But the, the, the defensive stance is still on there, so he is taking reduced damage right now. Now he's got two stacks, or maybe three. But here comes the Steam Cannon. Boom, there it goes. See all the white uh, bright lights above Roger's there? It disappeared. Now he doesn't have that damage and takes full hits. Um, and that's really the story of this replay. Steam Cannon clears off the uh, buff. And then tear space and basic hits do the rest for full metal. Now remember, full metal uh, still may get hit from Rogers, and he'll get hit hard. You know, tier twelve airships do hit hard with that tear space, even if his base damage isn't very good. Uh, but full metal with just some basic gear, um, just like a you know the, the what is it called? A little bit of dodge may help actually quite a bit. Remember, there is a bug right now with Virgo's radiance. Um, if you are Rogers and you have Tyrant Cometh coming and Virgo triggers, it will reset your guaranteed hit and it'll miss. So there's the Virgo. Uh, so Rogers is is absolute garbage right now. Straight garbage uh, until they fix that. I don't know if that's intentional. Probably not. But even once they do fix it, it's not going to change it that much. Uh, it's still going to be a one-sided fight for Full Metal at one-third the leadership. So it's something we never thought we'd really see. It's very rare. Rogers was always the guy that would get into a fight with one-third the leadership and win. Dodger Roger could do it. Um, but you know, I guess I didn't point that out in the previous videos. If you haven't watched the Dodger Roger and Boss Roger videos, definitely go watch those. Those are very interesting. But uh, this is a textbook replay of just you know what the new gems can do on the new commanders with the new troops. I mean, who would? This is something unheard of, right? Tear space damage to punish Rogers because he's so tanky. Full metal skill to remove the buffs and Virgo's radiance to disable Rogers' damage so he doesn't hit very hard when he does hit. Uh, but also to make him go last and not let his Tyrant come and hit. It's just a, a massive, massive uh, turn of events. So for those players out there that uh, aren't the biggest commander in the game and they, they can't compete with their boss player, maybe they only have 200,000 leadership or 500,000 leadership, really depends. You know, if you're in a 100,000 leadership uh, server, you know, then, then you know, it, it just scale it to your boss or whatever. But basically, if you're not the biggest ship and you want to be a more utility commander, a useful commander, pick up Full Metal. Take out your opponents as Rogers with this guy. Uh, he could do it at pretty low risk and uh, pretty convincingly. Uh, as far as damage goes, right, uh, Fearless Pants are great. Um, you could go Magi well for the extra damage. It is quite a bit of damage, but uh, Fearless has HP and that damage reduction from Terra Space, it really does help. Uh, Shadow for the Resistance Weaken helps. Um, remember, you know, Rogers will have a sweet advantage on him, so uh, that Resistance Weaken on the chest is quite useful. Uh, you could go Armor of the Tyrant to be a little more balanced, versatile, but I think our main matchup here is Rogers. Try to stick to that. I mean, there. don't get me wrong, Full Metal is a decent commander in a regular fight with, with other gems. You're still going to want to put Leo on him. I really think Virgo's, you know, nice, and then uh, Cassiopeia's nice to r avoid being debuffed, but... Um, Leo hits so hard, it's kind of a necessary thing on full metal. But if you're only going to be fighting Rogers, and you have enough accuracy, 
Um, you kind of got to decide for yourself. So if you want this commander card, check the description below. Make sure you get the high def version. If you zoom in and it's blurry, that means you don't have the high def version. You're looking at a preview. You got to download the two or three megabyte version. Uh, as far as the damage is concerned, uh, Double Titans is always good for him. Nothing, no other choices there. And then the helmet, you can go Valkyrie, but if you want to splurge and go for the Natural Whisper and get that crit wither reduction and HP there, you can do that as well. Remember, it hurts your accuracy a little bit. Um, do add a little bit of crit on your weapons, maybe um, on your helmet, just if you if you feel like you might be getting kind of close to falling under a 100% guaranteed crit every time. Uh, but that's the full metal build. So thanks to Range for, for providing that. And uh, be on the lookout in Season 7 playoffs. And, and uh, you know, if you got your own full metal, uh, get ready to take him into Endless Ace because the Rogers is like the number one stop for everyone in Endless Ace. I don't know. You need a really big full metal to beat Rogers in Endless Ace. But, but uh, yeah, 500k full metal beats a 1.7 million leadership Rogers. That's unbelievable. Walker versus Airship, right? So uh, very cool.